Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on the new multi-job planner. In QImage Ultimate, you may be aware that we can save jobs or jobs will get saved automatically when you print in the automated job log so that you can bring them up at a future date. But what if you wanna print multiple jobs? And that's what we're gonna get into when we talk about this multi-job planner. When we save a job, we can bring the job back by going here to recall and we can go through all the jobs that we've saved manually and I've created a couple for this video that are easy and at the top here. Um, so that's one way that we can reload a job in the future. The other way is to go to the automated job log here and look at all the jobs here starting right here that were saved whenever we printed. The job is saved automatically so you could go back and uh, redo a job that you printed last week, last month, and so on. So that's what jobs are for, but sometimes it may help to be able to print multiple jobs and then just walk away and let it print those multiple jobs. So when we want to do that, we can go to File and Multi-Job Plan. So here's where we create a multi-job plan, and there's a very simple window all we're doing here is we're making a list of jobs to print. So if we look at the status or the tip down here, it says step one, add some jobs to the plan. So what I'll do here is I'll go to user save jobs. And we could go to the automated job log and pick up a job that was saved when we printed automatically, but I'm gonna go to user save jobs because I saved a couple jobs here manually. And when the dialog opens here, you can go through the jobs and when you click on the job, it'll give you a preview of the prints that are in that job. There's two ways you can add the jobs to the multi-job plan. One way is to select the job like I've done here and then click add. And it says that job was added. The other way is to just double click. So I'll do the other method on this one and double click. Now that job was added. And so we can add as many jobs as we want. And when we're done, we just close by clicking the close button. And that brings us back to our multi-job plan here. We can see we have two jobs in the plan. Those are the ones that we added. Now, if we look down here at the tip, it says step two is click analyze to load the job information. So let's do that now. I'll just click analyze jobs in the plan. And it will go through all the jobs and fill in the information here so that you can see what you're doing. Now the purpose of this is so that you can see what printer you're printing to for each job. You can see the paper type that's being used, the paper size and how many pages you need. So in this case, I've created a simple job here and these jobs, the first job will print one page of semi-gloss and the second job will print one page of matte photo paper. So here I've set this up and what I would do in this case, I see that it's the same printer for both jobs. So for this Canon Pro 100 printer, I would load one sheet of semi-gloss paper and behind that, the second sheet would be a sheet of matte photo paper. And now I can just click print jobs right here and it will go through each of these jobs and print them. And if I've loaded my paper right, I'll get one sheet of semi-gloss and one sheet of matte photo paper and the jobs will be done when I return to my computer. Um, it's up to you to make sure that you uh, analyze what is here and make sure that it makes sense. Um, if I have the same printer and one of these is 13 by 19 and one of them is eight and a half by 11, well, that's not gonna work for this printer because I can only load one size at a time. So that's why this says review the plan before you print. That's the only reason it's telling you to do that. But other than that, there's no real restrictions here. You can have as many jobs as you want. You could have five different printers in here with a job for each. And you know, this one could be, the first one could be 10 pages, the next one could be three, the next one could be 25 pages. It doesn't matter, you can mix and match. And obviously this is a lot more useful for, uh, uh, printing outfit that might have three or four or five printers. They might have a wide format printer, a medium size printer and a small printer, or all the same printer with different names, of course, but each printer might be dedicated to a certain size. Let's say 
a Pro 100 might be dedicated to 8.5 by 11, and then you have a Pro 2100, and that has roll paper in it, and that prints uh, 20 by 30s, and so on. So when you get all these in here, let's say you do have five different printers in five different jobs, and you've reviewed this, everything looks good, all the paper is loaded properly for each printer. You just click print jobs and walk away, and it will start here, and it'll print this job, and the job that's currently being printed will be highlighted, and the status down here will show you which job is currently printing. When this one is done, it'll move on to this one, highlight that line, and it will say printing job 2222, and it'll just keep going until it's done. When it's finished, it'll come back to this screen, just like this, and you could print it again, change it, delete it. Um, you could do things like if you want to reorganize it, notice how matte photo paper N is the second job here. I could click on this line and then click the up arrow to move the matte paper N to the top. So I click the up arrow and you can reorganize them, reorder them. Um, if I decide I don't want this one, I can click the X button here and delete it or use the delete key. And then I could go here into user save jobs. Let's see, we've got 2222. Two, two, two. I can go into user save jobs and put this one back in here. Close this. And now we've got both of these back in here. Um, so that's how this works. You're basically just filling this table with the jobs you want to print. You analyze first. Now, see, it's not letting me print now. And why is that? It's because we just added this job again, and it's not filled in yet. We don't, we haven't reviewed it. So we've got to click Analyze first, and it will fill this line in for you. And when it's done, then it will enable the print button, and you can print once you've reviewed everything and everything looks good. Um, one final thing before we go is I'll show you, if you get these jobs in here uh, and you want to see what's in it, you, you can do that. Let's say I wanted to see what's in this uh, quadruple one job here. Just double click on it. And it'll actually open that job and you're sitting here looking at the queue image window with that job loaded. And you can say, yeah, that looks right. Um, and then you can go back here again and reopen the multi-job plan and everything is the way you left it. Let's say I want to open the 222 job and look at that. I open that one. And that's the one with the matte photo paper. And I can say, yeah, matte photo paper, same prints. Yep, that looks right. And now the, the hot key to get back in there is Alt-P. So you can use that too. You don't have to use the file menu. And uh, when you're ready to print, you just print. That's about it. It's, it's a really simple uh, interface. Like I said, all you're doing is just basically lining up jobs that you want to print. And this can be really useful. Uh, even if you only have one printer, you might... Uh, you might have a job that where you want to print um, 10 copies of some print on matte paper and 10 copies on semi-gloss. So you set up those jobs, save them, and then once you've saved them, you can add them to the multi-job plan and just print them and walk away. Of course, after you've loaded 10 sheets of matte photo paper and then 10 sheets of semi-gloss. Um, and again, you can do that here because you're using the same size sheets. Um, but if you have multiple printers, it gets even more versatile. So I hope you enjoy the new feature and uh, hope that that will increase the versatility of jobs and being able to print jobs, especially, like I said, for those people who might have a print shop or something and they have a lot of different printers. The good thing about that is if you have, let's go back to the example where I said we had five different printers in here and five jobs lined up. When we click print jobs and walk away, let's say each of those five jobs has 10 prints each and they're printing to five different printers. When you click print jobs and walk away, QImage is obviously going to process these faster than the printer can physically print them. So it'll start working on the first job and as soon as it's done sending that to that first printer, it'll go to the second one and it'll complete that one. It'll go to the third one and a few minutes later, four, five, ten minutes later, depending on how many prints there are, you'll walk back and these jobs will have finished processing and all five of your printers will be printing simultaneously. So that's a really useful feature to have, especially if you're high volume. But 
again, if you're not high volume and you only have one or two printers, um, I have two printers here, so I've, I've been using it. I'll put the Pro 100 in the first line and have a job to, to my G620 all in one printer on the second line and I'll print them and they'll both be printing. Before I end the video, I wanted to show you that you can save these multi-job plans. Just like you can save a job, you can save a multi-job plan. So you can go here and do file, save current multi-job plan, and you can give it a name. And I'll, let me just overwrite this one. I'll click save. It warns me that the file already exists. That was just a test anyway, so I'll, I'll overwrite that. Now if I, by the way, you can right click on this if you want to clear all lines at once. So let me right click and that clears the whole thing out. And now if I'm, I'll close the whole thing, Alt P to bring it back up. It's empty because that's the way we left it. Now if we want to reload that, I'll just click file, open multi-job plan. I'll see the test that I saved. And I open that and it brings back the plan just like I had it. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful and enjoy the new feature.